All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiyam out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And I just wanted to spotlight um, two things, um, and a couple of scriptures came to mind. And I'm going to bring them out real quick. Um, but first and foremost, uh, watch this video here off of Reuters. It's, it's entitled, uh, Russia Begins Massive War Call-Up, Flights Sell Out, right? So it says, one-way flights out of Russia started selling out in a wave of panic triggered by President Vladimir Putin's announcement calling up 300,000 conscripts to fight in, in Ukraine, all right? And we've already reported on it. You do your own due diligence. But uh, this video was hilarious, man. They're, they're trying to get out of Dodge. They're protesting. Um, uh, they were sending out letters to uh, different uh, homeowners associations. So it's a, it's full it's in full effect, man. They need a lot of doctors, um, you know, so on and so forth. Men that have uh, prior military experience. In the uh, report, they were talking about how a lot of people were seen on the train reading the letters. That you know, they got the letters, man. So hey, beautiful times, beautiful times for the elect. Horrific times for the two thirds, and um, also. I remember brothers spoke on this also. I forget the brother Salakia, but um, they mentioned how, um, as you can see, do your own due diligence. It says why the U.S. military faces a growing recruiting crisis. Over here in Babylon the Great, <laughs> what you think is going to happen? Over there in Russia, they, they don't even want to fight. They're trying to flee the country. In America, they're having a hard time even recruiting people because of obesity, health issues, uh, the drugs. A lot of people are on drugs, you know. Man, this place is through. This generation, what they call them, Z, they're through, man. These GMO babies. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of people have um, are against the politics, you know. So uh, watch this video also. Do your own due diligence. But, yeah, man, <laughs> this place is through, baby. It's through. Put a fork in it, all right? A couple of scriptures I'm going to bring out. It's mainly pertaining to Babylon the Great, but you can see the sentiment is, is in Russia right now, man, you know. This is Jeremiah uh, 51 and 30, Gog and Magog, you know, <laughs> the mighty men of Babylon. I like it. This applies to America, Babylon the Great. But you can see, um, <laughs> you know, right now, Russia, what you think, if it's happening to those Russians and they're a lot stronger, they're not as effeminate and, and uh, weak as these uh, Babylonians. You, you could clearly see what's going to happen when that draft gets implemented. When the third woe pops off, these people are going to lose it. These people are going to lose it, you know. Beautiful times. Jeremiah 51 and 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might have failed. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. This is a future prophecy, but you can see that's the, the men of this society are weak as hell, man. They ain't ready. They not built for war. Me and the brother was talking about um how like these, uh you, you look at these old military men, you know, they're strong, man. They like in their 70s, their 80s, strong. They got that old man strength. You know, they were fighting in them. Uh, we were talking about it. We were fighting in um, the Vietnam War. You know, they were that jungle warfare. You know, a lot of the men, they, they got stricken with Agent Orange and they still ticking, still strong as an ox. The men, these, these um, the GMO babies are, are not built like that, man. You know, they, they used to playing Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, you know. Running by, you know, doing a <laughs> sliding on niggas and shit. <laughs> oh, they in for a rude awakening, baby. Call Halal, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. This place is through. Um, I'm going to close out here. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to spotlight them two videos. Uh, do your due diligence. Uh, Isaiah 13, and um, the main point is in 14, right? Uh, I'm going to start at 11. Right now, they're trying to flee out of um, Russia because they think. There's an escape. You can't escape this judgment. You can't escape this judgment that Yahweh Shai is about to bring onto the world. 
this is a global thing, man. This is a thirds woe. The thirds world's war is 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 uh, in full effect, man. We not it's not here yet, but but we're at the door. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai mustereth the host of the battle. All these nations are gonna go to war, man. All right, and they're gonna implement drafts. All right, right now you think you could flee to these different nations? <laughs> you in for a rude awakening? Okay, but we know that's what's gonna happen. Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. That's what's happening. The Lord is visiting the world that he made. All right. You see? And I will, you people are proud as hell. You forgot how Bashim Yahweh Shah. You say there is no God, you know, and you people are bugged out. You forgot, man. Allah Shah, the terrible demon like power. The only power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he's about to visit you and he's angry. And he's angry, bro. You're about to feel that indignation, that righteous anger. He's about to pour it out, baby. And I will punish the world in the oikumeni sense, the whole world, for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. You people are laden with iniquity, sin upon sin, and you're wallowing in it like a damn uh, a pig wallowing in, in the mud, man. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. The chief proud is Esau, Edom, read Obadiah. But two-thirds of our people, they're, they're just like their daddy, man. They got that same proud Edomite spirit on them, you know. They're drunken on this Babylon juice, okay? All these nations are. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. That's the times we're coming into. Because it's then shall be known who are my chosen. And it's going to start with the elect men, the 144,000 men, the prophets that are out there sighing and crying, you know, for all the abominations they're in, man, all right? We're going to be precious in that time, man. The ones of us that have this truth, you know, I don't want to write this out. We'd be of that number. That's why seven women are going to take hold of one man in that day, you know, to take away their, their shame and reproach, saying what I'll eat our, we'll, we'll uh, eat our own bread and, you know, make our own apparel. That's the times we're coming into because these men, these weak-ass, effeminate uh, GMO babies, they're going to be dropping like flies, man, you know. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. And why is that? Because right now we're being refined. We're being we're gold now and we're being refined through the straight gate, that furnace of affliction. The Lord is getting out all them impurities in us, man. You know, all that filth. We're becoming a new creature, acceptable, you know, and, you know, so that we can st stand in that day, you know, and shine like a beacon of light, you know. The Lord is building the tabernacle of David as of old that has fallen, man. You know, the mighty men of valor, baby. You know, you know. It says, I will make a man, an Israelite man, an, an elect Israelite man. You see, we're going to be as a covert from the wind, a hiding place from the wind. These winds of destruction, these plagues. Like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, um, uh, no evil shall come now our dwelling. No plague, no pe no pestilence. And they're going to see who the Lord is with in that day. Then shall be known who are my chosen. And what the, some of us going to get that spiritual power. Some of us are going to be martyrs, but it is what it is. The dead in Yahweh shall rise first. Be thou faithful unto death, and we shall receive a crown of life. But a lot of us are going to get that spiritual power, man. And what does it say? In the day of power, our people will be willing. They're going to be flocking, man. They're going to be flocking. When the famine of the word hits, they're going to be flocking, looking for the men of the Lord. They're okay, looking for wine, looking for comfort, looking for answers. You see? They're going to run Amos 8 and 11. They're going to run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, but they ain't going to find it. All right, the Lord is going to withdraw himself in the, in the times to come. He's about to hide himself again. Okay, that's why you're supposed to seek the Lord while he may be found. You're supposed to be on fire, not putting off the day of the Lord. Okay, you know, you know, not putting off the Lord day by day, man. You know, seek the Lord 10 times more, man. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, an Israelite man, an elect Israelite man, even a man even the man than the gold, golden wedge of Ophir, which we know that's talking about America, all right? It says, therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. That's when the, the missiles hit, man. The earth is going to rock to and fro like a drunkard, man. You know, you see? In the wrath of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and in the day of his fierce anger. That's what's about, you're about to feel that fierce anger of the Lord, his indignation, okay, for your for your willful disobedience. You refuse to repent. So it is what it is. And it shall be as the chaste roe. What's a chaste roe? Uh, 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 um, a like a deer. You know, you know how deers, does, they're skittish. 
Any little thing, they're, they're all scared and shit. That's the times we're coming into. Evil times, you know? You see? It says, And it shall be as the chaste roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people, and flee everyone into his own land. All right? That's a future prophecy. All right? It's, it's, which is going to quickly happen. Right now, they think they can run to America and, and, and Babylon and all this shit, and they're going to be safe. You know, but they're in for rude awakening. You ain't going to be able to hide from this third's woe, the judgment of the Lord, the the karagma, the hour of temptation. Ain't nowhere you're going to be able to run because this is the judgment of the Lord and he's about to pour it out on the earth, man. He's about to pour out this cup, this cup for Esau, Edom, and it's going to be poured out without mixture. Okay? You see? It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, meaning raped. All right. It says, behold, I will stir up the Medes. All right. These Russians, they're going to they're going to actually come over here to America, Babylon, the great. All right. The Lord is going to put an evil thought into their mind, man. You know, to the, to go up to the, to the city of unwalled villages, man. They're going to they going to they going to touch down in America, Babylon, the great. These Gurga troops, these stormtroopers. All right. And they go, man, they gonna have a way with y'all because America's the, the Satan, the big problem, the devil, the adversary, the bully on the block. And they enough is enough. They're going to the, the, the beast is going to turn on the whore and burn them with fire. You see, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Yeah. When 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 these Gurga troops, these stormtroopers uh, step foot over here. Ain't nothing you can do to, to appease them. Why? Because the wrath of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to be in them. They be spirits created for vengeance. And that, that the vengeance of the Lord is going to be on you, man. At least you repent. That's the time they're coming into, man. Evil times. Evil times, man. Quickly approaching. Our redemption is nigh, baby. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, man. We're close. Shalom. Wa Abad Babar. Kwam Nesharala.